Hello friends, in this video, we will see what is permutations. Okay, so before knowing the concept of the permutation, we must know the concept of factorial. We must know the concept of factorial. So, factorial uh, is nothing but actually simply the multiplication of the numbers. Okay, so for example, let us assume n is a positive integer, n is a positive integer integer n is a positive integer so the factorial of n is represented by n and then x law matrix symbol so this is called as this is called as n factorial okay n factorial so the value of this n factorial is going to be n into i mean the value of the n itself into n minus 1 and this is multiplied by n minus 2 and this is multiplied by n minus 3 till Okay, so for example, if we have uh, one factorial, so that is going to be obviously one. Okay, and then two factorial, and two factorial is one into two. I mean two into two minus one, so that is one. So three factorial is equal to three into two into one. Okay, three into two into one. So in the same manner, in general term, n factorial is equal to n into n minus one into n minus two into n minus three until Okay, so and uh, the mathematicians define zero factorial is equal to one. Okay, zero factorial is equal to one. So this is what factorial. Factorial is when n is a positive integer, then n factorial is defined as n into n minus one into n minus two into n minus three into, and we have to multiply this one till we get the one. So this is n factorial, and zero factorial value is so this is what the factorial all about the factorial so now we will we'll see permutations i will see permutation so sometimes actually in most of the cases we use permutations and arrangements interchangeably okay permutations and uh, arrangements interchangeably so the permutation is all about actually uh, given number of things by taking some things from that one and arranging them for example so there are n things are there and we are taking our things out of n and we are arranging them in some certain order okay we are arranging them in a certain order okay for example let us consider uh, let us consider there are three variables are there x y and z three things are there x y z and these can be and out of these three and we are taking two variables at a time out of these three actually we are taking two at a time okay and we are arranging them so first we can take x y otherwise we can write this one as y x otherwise we can write as y z and then z y and then x z and then z x okay so these are the things out of these three things we took three at a time and we arranged them okay first we took x y two things and we arranged x y and after that y x okay and then y z and then z y and then x z and then z x so out of these three things and we took two at a time and then we arranged them in the same manner permutation is all about okay permutation is all about the arrangement of given n things n number of things and taking okay are things at a time and arranging them okay permutation is all about arranging n items but taking r items at a time and arranging them in the order okay so so for example we have three things and out of these three things we are taking two things at a time and arranging them okay so arranging them in the like this okay arranging them like this Suppose in the same manner, take that one, we have three things and out of these three things, we are taking three things at a time and arranging them, okay, taking the three things and arranging them, arranging them, okay, at, at a time we are taking three things, so that one is x, y, z, okay, and then, uh, and then x, z, y, okay, x, z, y is there and y x z is there and y z x okay y z x and z x y 
or z by x okay z by x so here what happened we have three things out of these three things we took two thing two things at a time and arranged all of them here we have three things out of this we took three things at a time and we arranged them okay we arranged them so permutations is all about arranging n items out of which taking r items at a time and arranging them okay so so the permutations of taking r items at a time out of n things and arranging them is represented as n p r n p r and that is represented as n p r so n p r value is going to be equal to the so n factorial by n minus r factorial so it is going to be equal to the n factorial by n minus r factorial okay so n p r represents the taking r items out of n items okay so arranging them okay arranging them okay so n p r represents the arrangement of n items out of which r items taken at a time and we are arranging them okay so the n p r value is given by n factorial by n minus r factorial so we will check actually uh, here we have n value is equal 3 and r value is equal 2 we substitute here and we got here 6 so we get 6 or not okay so that is going to be 3 p 2 3 p 2 so that is n factorial n value is 3 that is 3 factorial by 3 minus 2 factorial so that is going to be 3 factorial by 3 minus 2 1 factor 3 factorial is equal 3 into 2 into 1 by 1 factorial 1 so 3 into 2 is 6 so that is going to be equal to 6 so we got 6 6 arrangements so those 6 arrangements are 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 arrangements are there so if we consider this one here our n value is 3 and as it is here our r value is also 3 okay so we will check for this one so that is going to be n factorial 3 factorial by so 3 minus 3 factorial so that is going to be 0 factorial 3 factorial by 0 factorial so 3 factorial is 6 we already calculated and 0 factor 1 so this is going to be x6 so again we got 6 arrangements so here we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 6 arrangements are there okay so i hope uh, you got this one thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe my channel